What's good, Boyle 96 HD here. We are back with episode 2 of Trading Through Team of the Season Van Persie. We have 24,000 coins, so let's see what players we can get, and uh, I'll be back when I get some. Before I start the video, a big thank you to UT CoinShare. If you want coins, uh, check my links in the description. So I'll be back uh, when I get some players. So, lads, we are back. We've spent this 25k for the second episode of uh, Road to Team of the Season Van Persie. Uh, I've spent 25k, so let's show you what I got. First of all, I picked up an Anton Ferdinand, as you can see here, for 2,600 coins, which was a decent buy, uh, to say the least. I should be able to sell him for 3,700, so I'll stick him up for... I will stick him up for 6 hours, and then I'll overlist him overnight if he didn't sell. Uh, we picked up a Quattes for 300, which is a decent deal, too. He should sell for 1,200, easy. We picked up a Kieran Clark here for 450 coins, who should easily ship off for 900, which, once again, was a nice deal. Uh, Mark Noble, as you can see here, for 400 coins, he should sell for 1,000. A Wisdom for 450, he should sell for 1,200 or so. Uh, that'd be a decent bill, that'd be doubling, nearly tripling your money. Another Maloney here for 1,100 coins, nice player to trade with this guy, he should sell for 2,000 for the 6 hour mark. A Josh King, 6 hours, I should put him up for about 2.3k, I bought him for 1.3, so that has been nice. And then we're on to a, another Wisdom 4331 who I picked up for 750. I should be able to sell for 1.3. And a good, uh, probably one of the best buys are close to it. Danny Rose for 1.2k and a 41212 should sell for 4k or around that or 3.9 anyway, which is a really nice deal there. That's a good bit of profit. Uh, Panda Million, as you can see here, for 1700 subs should be able to sell him for 2700. Which is just again making a like, cray profit. Bertrand for 2.1k should be able to sell him for 4k. Once again, very nice that. And uh, nearly doubling my money, which is always nice. Uh, you get an Albrighton here for 650 coins, should be able to sell him for 2k, which is once again nice profit. There's just decent profit here. I want to start out low and make some coins. Uh, first goal player of the training season, team of the season, Van Persie. We picked up a Shinji Kigawa in centre mid for 4.9k. And I uh, should be able to sell him for 7 to 7.5. So that is very nice going there. And this is an unusual one. But I picked it up in a 59 buy it now. Vaz Tay in a centre mid 4.33 for 6k. He comes as a striker. So it's a bit of a, I don't know. He's 4k as a striker. So I'm going to try and devote my money and get 12k on this guy. Maybe he'll sell. Maybe he won't. But it's a, it was a risk. And I think it could pay off. Let's hopefully think it will be. And then Lambert. Yeah, I picked him up for 350 coins. Who will sell for 900. No problem. So lads, that is who I've picked up in this part of the episode. Uh, I'll be back to see when they've sold. So hopefully they've sold and uh, yeah. We are back lads and everything has sold. We're up to 45,000 coins. So that is a nice really episode of trading to say the least. I started with 24 to 25k. And as you can see, Anton Ferdinand here sold for 3,700. Which is a nice little profit bottom for I think 2,600. That's decent. And you bought Quadels for 300. Sold for 1,200. We'll not complain about that. Uh, Kieran Clark sold for 900. Bought for 400 or something. Noble I bought for something like 400. Sold for 1,000. Uh, Wisdom I bought for a couple of hundred. He sold for 1,200. Maloney, I bought for uh, 1,000, sold him for 2,000. King, I bought for 1,300, sold him for 2,300. Wisdom, another one I bought for cheap enough. I think it was four or 500 and sold him for 1,300 again. A Pantamillion, I, I bought for 1,700, sold for 2,700. A Danny Rose, I picked up for something like 1,100 and sold him for 3,900, which is really, really nice. That Bertrand for 2K, sold him for 4K. I'll Brighton for 600, sold him for 2,000. Uh, Kagawa for 4,900, sold him for 7,500. Lambert for something like two or 350 and sold him for 900 and the final one which is the biggest profit in this series so far bought fast for 6.1k and sold them for 12 which is overly just doubling my money so we're on 45k i think it's time to go into a wager so we'll get a wager locked in and then uh, i'll be back when i get a wager locked in yeah right lads so here we are we're back and uh, we're going into a wager we're 45k we're playing a good mate of mine a fellow youtuber and most of you may know el de nero and as you can see, I put a card off for nine point or nine k, ten k. The max you could offer for nine point nine k. So we just put up put in Sissoko, who I can discard for three hundred coins, which is grand. So the first wager we are doing, as obvious it is now, where it's for ten k. Uh, we're going to be using the trusty wager team, as you'll see now. Uh, Minulay in the nets, Mangala, Kabul, and Baya. Then you have Sandra Ramirez, Kelvin Bale, Diego, and then the. the lethal attack force that is Royce and Malapa so hopefully this team will do me well hopefully I can win and they'll bring me up to about 54 55 thousand coins which is a really nice tally to do after two episodes uh, with a bit of trading and uh, if we do win we do win which is be really nice 
this team have only been betting a couple or beaten a couple of times with it so i have faith in it i hopefully hopefully it can do me the win and then uh, now we will get into this game hopefully we can win leave in the comments below pause it right now what's your predictions will i be El De Niro? let me know in the comments anyway in me going to the game now as you will see i got him to invite me the connection was fantastic which is the only bad thing two irish connections coming together didn't really do us any favor it was, it was a bit of a letdown but i rang my customer provider since then or my service provider and uh, they're going to sort it out and anyway, I had something wrong with it, there was a lion fault or whatever but anyway here we go, El Camino is his name and this is the team he's playing, they're rocking a really nice team actually he does have health in there, Bachetti, Mangala, Old Grew in form Commons, Fernando, Romulu, Dudishak, uh, who's that in form Hulk striker with Pato and Carlos Eduardo behind them so he's a really really strong 3-5-2 team when I seen this I knew it would be hard to break down but uh, we went into the game and anyway. we started early with Kelvin running down the wing here and he crosses it in and uh, Malapa tries something but no unfortunately yeah uh, it was a bit too extravagant for Malapa to try that but Royce did here goes through a lovely little fucking block there from Mangala which was a really really great block but the one thing is Malapa is dangerous from corners as you will see here and we took the 1-0 lead which was a really nice way to start the game after 13 minutes Malapa puts me 1-0 up and I was delighted about that this 10 gate could be really big to start off the series on a win as most of you know, may know, I've been playing wages on Twitter for a while. But only 10 minutes later in the 24th minute, Alexander Pato plays a lovely ball over the po over the top. And uh, what they like sauce with those chips. Hulk plays an absolutely beautiful chip over the fucking keeper. There was no chance for him. But apparently Hulk informs a terrible player. If you played him, let me know in the comments. But I was talking to Elden Aaron, and he was telling me that he's not the best player to play with. But then again, that chip was absolutely beautiful. And once again, only 10 minutes on again, Hulk gets the ball, plays a nice ball through the Pato. A bit of aids, however, he got through here. But nothing can take away from that finish. And unfortunately, we were 2 1 down in our first wager the game this is really or the series and this is really where i began to shit myself so i turned on fucking game face and i know i i know i needed to fucking do something so malapa got through in the 36 minute and he goes for it but an absolutely beautiful save from helton and uh, picks that one up easily and once again rice goes down here in the wing lovely little ball in malapa or diego gets his head nets and fucking some ninja save there by uh helton and somehow once again he did get the hands on it and uh, that was it we went 2 1 down into the second half, and I knew I had to, or into the end of the first half, and I knew I had to come out with the second half fight, and I knew I had to get a couple of goals, because I really didn't want to lose this first wager. And this is where the connection gets fairly shitty, my connection, but Mlapa absolutely rapes team of the season, Bachetti just gives him the dench sausage, and there's no mistake from here. Mlapa makes it 2 all after 52 minutes. I was delighted, I was like, alright, game back on here. Bit of connection wolves here, no problem. That's probably on my behalf, on my behalf even, so I have to apologise to Eldenero for that. But two minutes later, run down the wing. Bale crossed into Malapa and I take the lead once again for the second time in the game a lovely ball in from Bale and what a finish with a lovely little tap side volley or side footed volley into the bottom right hand corner Malapa just dragged away from this defender there and a lovely finish there and once again literally three minutes later Royce went down a bit of lag here but Royce takes it back or takes past one of the defender uses a bit of strength and a lovely finish into the bottom right hand corner there and this is where I began to think the game was sealed off Royce just really shows his clinicalness there, if that's even a word. <laughs> but he showed a fantastic composure to finish that. And in the 83rd minute, Malapa runs down, plays it to Royce. Gets himself in a decent position in the box. Royce gets the ball in now, as you'll see. And uh, once the ball comes in, let's be sure, lads, there is no mistake for Malapa. And that is game. We have won our first wager at 10k. Malapa absolutely doing me the saw. Scoring for me fucking three or four goals. And we won the game 5-2. It was a really good game. But big thanks to El De Niro for fucking playing me. So if you want to check him out, I'll leave his link in the description. It's a 5-2 or 5 -2 win. Uh, we're 10k up. And really, that is the main thing. 10k up is a big thing. Happy days. Happy, happy, happy days. So 5-2 Malapa, as you can see, Malapa, Malapa, Malapa and Royce. That was a big win for us, 5-2, 10k in the back, bank. So we're going to collect those coins now and uh, I'll be back when I collect them. Right lads, so here we go collecting the 10k. Big thanks to El De Niro once again for playing me. If you want to play me, check out my Twitter in the description. That's where I will be asking for the wagers. If you enjoy this video, leave it a like, leave it a comment. I uh, really appreciate the support. So if we can hit 200, that would be great. So the 9.9k, this is Soka who held the scared for 300 coins. It's up to 55k for this episode. We're doing well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as I said, leave a like. And as always, have a fantastic day and goodbye.